there everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lessons with Guitar Man. My name's Aaron and I'll be your designated driver here today for this really neat song, Panhandle Rag. Okay, now this version of Panhandle Rag is one that I actually learned from a Jerry Douglas record he did back in the 80s called Everything Is Gonna Work Out Fine. I took the first break that he did in there and more or less just took his dobro licks and applied them to the guitar and did the best I could to make it pretty similar to what he did there. Not exact, but pretty close. Uh, the idea here is I caught the flavor of what he was doing to give you something a little different to work on when you're learning this tune. Now, I'm sure many of you out there already know Panhandle Rag or a version of Panhandle Rag, but this one is very unique, a very Dobro-istic type break on this song, and I think it's something that you're going to get a whole lot out of and will certainly add to your repertoire of what you already know, if you already know this tune. I'll put a link to it below in the description of this video. Listen to it a couple times so you get an idea of where I'm coming coming from and where we're going to in this lesson and that way you're not going blind into this and lastly I'd like to thank my daughter who got me this hat right here that I'm wearing today up in the mountains for Father's Day what a cool hat this is and I really appreciate her getting that for me and happy belated Father's Day to all you fathers out there so let's go ahead and dive right in there and see what makes this thing work all right so starting off here in the pickup line you're gonna have a five seven five skip a string down to seven so it's five, seven, five, seven. Make sure you pay attention to the picking pattern there. So it's down, down, up, down. All right, so moving on to measure number one, what you're gonna see here is a six for three beats. And then we're gonna go over here to a four on an upstroke like that. So it's six, four. All right, measure number two is gonna be a five, four, two, five. And that's kind of a big stretch there with your pinky. So five, four, two, five, okay? And then after that, we're gonna slide from five to four to two, four, two. All right, and that whole measure together is gonna to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, and moving on to measure number three, you're gonna have a four, two, followed by a four, two, two. So that's four, two, followed by a four, two, two. And something I'd like to point out here real quick is that you'll notice that I'm doing three downs in a row on the 4-2-2, two, two, or the second part of measure number three. And what this basically is, is economy picking for those of you uh, guitar buffs out there, where you're using every time you switch a string, you're doing a downstroke or vice versa. Every time you're going from a high string to a low string, you're going up. But in this case, it's from a low to high, and they're all downstrokes. So you don't have to play it that way, but I found it to be a little bit easier if you use economy picking here. So just pay attention to that. And that whole measure together, or measure number three, is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, and moving on to measure number four, we're going to have a two, open, hammer, two again, five. So it's two, open, hammer, two again, five. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Okay. And moving on to measure number five, what we're going to have here is some double stops. And that's going to be a partial part of an E chord here. So for those of you who know your triads, here's a little E. Okay. Or just like this. But it's this inversion. Okay. And we're just going to use the top two notes of that. And your picking pattern is going to be down, up, down, down, like that. And then you're going to chromatically move that back to here, and then chromatically back again, like that. And the way when you put it all together, you're going to have like that. One, two, ready, go. 
right? And moving on to measure number six, what you're going to see here is another uh, part double stop, or the first one we started with in that series here, like that. And then we're going to move down and grab these two notes and do this inversion of an E, which this is your first inversion D shape E. And then if you move it down to here like this, get rid of this note and use these two, we're going to use this six and four, seven and six, like so. All right. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One two, ready, go. And then measure number seven, what we're going to do here is a seven, seven, six. All right. And then let that ring into measure number eight. One more time. Seven, seven, six. All right. So let's go ahead now and play from measure one through measure number seven and see what that sounds like slowly. So one, two, ready, go. Moving on to measure number eight, what we're going to have here are the same notes that we did at the very beginning of the tune in the pickup line. So there's nothing new to learn there. And then moving on to measure number nine, what you're going to see here is measure number nine is the same as measure number one. So there's nothing new to learn there. And measure number 10 is the same as measure number two. So there's nothing new to learn there. But when we get to measure number 11, there is a change. And the first half of it's the same, but the second half, we have a couple extra notes there. And so that's going to go like so. So measure number 11 is going to be a four, two, followed by a one slide to two, then a two, skip a string, go to the, to the B or the second string, like so. So it's going to be four, two, one slide to two, and then a two. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right. And moving on to measure number 12, what you're going to see here is measure number 12 is the same as measure number four. So there's nothing new to learn there. And measure number 13 is the same as measure number five. So there's nothing new to learn there. And measure number 14 is the same as measure number six. So there's nothing new to learn there. And, but when we get to measure number 15, there is a change here. And that's going to be like so. And what we're getting ready to do basically is go on to the B part. But there's a little tag lick here at the end of this second time through the A part. And it's going to go like so. So you're going to go from four to seven and do a hammer like that. Okay. And then you're going to go seven, five. So it's four hammer seven, like so. All right, so let's go ahead now and play from measures eight through measure number 16 and see what that sounds like. All right, so one, two, ready, go. This is the part in the video where I ask each and every one of you to come on over to my Patreon page where you can find the music for this, the tab, the backing tracks, the iReel profiles, the guitar profiles, the ending lick, and so much more information by coming on over to my Patreon page at patreon.com backslash lessons with guitar man and help support me to continue to make more content for each and every one of you fellow guitar enthusiasts out there. All right, so some final thoughts on this tune for you. Um, in the A section, what we're basically doing is playing the same uh, melody in the A part twice, but we changed just a couple notes, so make sure you pay close attention to the melody on that. Try to learn what I have written there. Maybe listen along to Jerry Douglas play it and all the other great players on that record, and what you're going to find is you're going to have yourself a nice 
uh, version of Panhandle Rag, something I think that you're, you can enjoy for many years to come. You can play it with your friends in a jam band. Just one that I think is going to certainly add to your repertoire and give you some really neat licks to use in the future for your guitar playing journey. All right, well, that's a wrap on this tune. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email listed below in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you down the road.